Hi kids and welcome back to the Keys Kids channel and I miss Keys. We are on our 13th episode. Isn't that crazy? You guys have been going at this for 13 weeks. We've learned so much and we are not about to slow down. Now before we keep going, I want you to remember to go and subscribe. Also, if you click that little bell over there, it'll turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified when a video comes out every Friday at 12 p.m. Also, we are almost at 100 subscribers. I am just so grateful and thankful you guys are subscribing. So I have decided that once we reach 100 subscribers, I will do something very special for all the people on my channel. Someone's gonna kinda get a surprise. That's right, we're gonna do a giveaway. So keep subscribing, tell your friends to subscribe because the giveaway is coming as soon as we hit 100 subscribers. And don't forget to go follow the Keys Kids channel on Instagram because that's where you'll find out first. Now, with all of that being said, it's time to get to the good stuff. Now, as you know, for the June-July series, we're working on main idea. And main idea is the most important idea of a topic, article, or book. It's the big idea. And so, we read our book and we look for clues, like the title, repeated words. We use the pictures and the blurb, and all of that helps us to find the main idea. We also pull evidence, three supporting evidence throughout the story to support our main idea. We call this the legs to support our cushion of our chair. <laughs> you guys got it. I know you guys are like pretty much pros, but we're still gonna keep going because sometimes main idea can trick us up which is why we're reading different types of stories so that you can better understand how to find the main idea of any story. So, this week's book. I am so excited to read. I actually got this book first. It was in the first package of books I bought but I knew I wanted to wait till I could really give y'all a great episode on it. Today's book is called Hair Love. Ah! I am so excited to read this book. I actually saw the short film first on YouTube just as a regular ad. And then I found out they made it into a physical book. And when I tell you I went go buy it, baby, I went, bloop, Amazon. Bye. So, this book is written by Mr. Matthew A. Cherry. And it's illustrated by the wonderful Vashti Harrison. Mr. Matthew Cherry is actually a former NFL player. Wow. And he decided to retire from the NFL to pursue his entertainment career. And he now directs and edits videos. You can go to the description bar below to find the link to go watch this very special short film. As well, I will post Mr. Cherry's website and Instagram. Not only that, but the wonderful, amazing illustrator, Miss Vashti Harrison. I will put all of her information below. And she now has a shop where she sells her illustrations by artwork, on phone cases, in a little glass box that I am going to buy. 
Vashti, I'm buying that box, baby. Don't sell it to nobody. But anyway, I digress. So I will put all of her information below as well. I also wanted to save this book because this past Saturday was Father's Day. And as a little girl growing up without her dad in her home, I didn't really have a big connection to Father's Day. And unfortunately, this is common in the black community. But for some little girls, they do have their dad. They live with them and they have this really awesome dad. And so I wanted to celebrate dads. Not only celebrate dads, but celebrate black dads because they really don't get enough recognition. For all you dads out there who is just working hard for their kids, who is there, who is present, who is supportive, who is loving, who is structured, who is, who is just awesome, this reading is for you. And for all of my kids out there who have their dad, I want you to give them a really big hug today and tell them thank you because they're working really hard just for you. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, I'm done talking. I'm done running my mouth. It's time for the good part. That's right. It's time to read. Are you ready? Let's go! Hair Love by Matthew A. Cherry. Illustrations by Vashti Harrison. So excited. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which away. Daddy tells me I'm beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small, it went. Presto! Just like that. There is nothing my hair can't do. Fun fact to all of those who are not black, when our hair gets wet, it shrinks a lot. But once we comb it out, it's long again. Today I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoe past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Aw, oh, she's so sweet because today is special. I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Pause off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth? He asked. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll 
be a piece of cake, Suzu. The first style was a big. No way. Oh, he's trying. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Then, Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch! Daddy yelled. Oof, I know that feeling. Them rubber bands will pop in a heartbeat. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really? I said. I'll be right back, he promised. <laughs> now, how's that? He asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on. We can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed, and we were set. They look like they're about to go to war with that hair, of course. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it! Funky puff buns! Pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved, too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest Supergirl I've ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. We learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is mommy, daddy, and me. It's hair love. The end. Oh, how cute! I loved it. Oh my god, I really love the book. I love the short story, but I love, love the book. I think it's important because representation matters. Like we've talked about in the past three episodes, seeing people that look like you is very important. And Matthew Cherry wanted to bring that to the black community. In the black community, we don't always have our dads. So seeing someone that looks like us, that has a dad, who's even playing the part of a single dad, because if dads by themselves don't get enough recognition, single dads definitely don't get enough recognition. So I think it's so amazing that they came up with a book that represents us. Because as I've told you before, representation matters. All right, guys, it's time to get to the big stuff. That's right. It is main idea time. So we just read the book Hair Love. But what was the main idea, guys? It's okay, it's okay. I'll give you guys a minute. Okay, you ready? Did you get it? That's right. Hair Love is an amazing book about a dad that worked hard to help his daughter come up with the perfect hairstyle in her mom's absence. But we're not done yet. We need our legs for the chair to stand on. So we pull our first leg. Our first leg to support our main idea is Zuri got up early in the morning, went straight to the bathroom to work on her hair. 
The next one we can pull is that her dad and her worked hard to try to make her hair fit into anything. The last leg we can pull is after watching an amazing video, probably on YouTube, they were able to come up with the perfect hairstyle for mommy coming home. That's it, you guys. You did it. You have found the main idea. And not only that, you have the cushion and you have the legs. You have successfully made the entire chair. I am so proud of you guys. So before we go, remember, go to the Keys Kids channel on Instagram every Monday to see the next book we're going to read. And every Friday at 12 p.m., you'll get a new video on the Keys Kids channel Instagram. So don't forget to go and subscribe. Like the video, turn on the post notifications, share the video. Remember, a giveaway is coming once we reach 100 subscribers. Also, in the description bar, you will not only find all of Matthew Cherry's information, all of Vashti Harrison's information, but I will also link some awesome black hairstylists in Houston that you can go to if you stay in this area. I am so glad you guys came and read with me today. I am so proud of you guys' growth. If you have any comments or questions, you can post them on the Keys Kids channel Instagram on the Friday video posts. I will read them, I will respond, and I would love to chat with you guys. With all of that being said, I will see you guys next week on the Keys Kiss channel. Bye! See you next week.